Okay, so a bit of a setup guide tonight for Commodore 64 users, specifically looking at setting up Vice to emulate the Super CPU. So if you've not heard of the Super CPU, it actually released in 1996, and there's two versions of it. And if you can obtain an actual physical Super CPU nowadays, you'll likely be paying thousands of pounds for it. So if you've not heard of the Super CPU, it pretty much boosts the Commodore 64 power. So there's particular games, like the one I'm going to be showing you, which utilizes the Super CPU, which actually plugs into the C64's expansion slot. So if we go over to this website, this is a game I'm going to be showing you how to set up uh, Metal Dust. Now, I've not really played this game. It's been out for several years, but it's one of those things. It's just never happened up until tonight. So I thought if I kind of wondered how to emulate this through Vice Emulator, then other people are probably also wondering as well. It's not actually that difficult to do. So we got Metal Dust. This was released by Protovision. And under requirements, we do need four megabyte of RAM. And of course, it requires the super cpu itself and of course we can actually emulate this through vice emulator and it also says that it's possible to play it with the 1581 jiffy dos image which is of course for the 1581 floppy disk drive which speeds up loading times so you can find out about super cpu on the wiki just here c64 wiki uh, but like i say they're like gold dust to obtain nowadays, so they have been since I sort of revisited the Commodore 64 uh, 16, 17, maybe 18 years ago. Uh, they're very rarely on eBay, so uh, yeah, good luck if you want one of these. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to show you how to set up Super CPU and it spans the RAM in the emulator itself. So if we just go over into the Vice Emulator folder, uh, your emulators or X's are in the bin folder just here. So there's a particular .exe that we're going to use to power Super CPU and it's the XSS CPU 64. .exe. So normally when I'm doing C64 videos, I'll be using the Time64 SC, uh, but in this case it's going to be this one, just open this up. Now as you can see already, I've already got this configured, uh, so to do this you're just going to go to Preferences, and if you just go down to Settings from here, we're going to find cartridges, and if you just drop down to RAM expansion module, you're going to want to increase this, like the website says, to 4 megabyte at least. So I'm going to just put this onto 8 megabyte, and just remember to enable RAM expansion module cartridge, and just check that, and then you can close that down. So everything's all set up now, and there's four disks for this game, and you'll notice that these are .d81s. So I'm going to take disk 1, which is labelled 01, and just drag and drop it into that now configured emulator. Just bear in mind, this game takes a hell of a long time to load up, and there are some options that we got to select to actually emulate the game itself. Now, what I tend to do is just click on warp, and that's going to increase the speed. So I tend to just whack on warp, which increases the speed of loading. And then to make this even quicker, what I do is just left click where those numbers are, go to maximum speed. Now it's on 100% by default. You can go to 200% or you can actually drop down a custom CPU speed. If you click on that, I'm going to put 500 in and go to a set. Okay, so this is the part which we need to look at. So uh, we need to press F just here for CMD dis distribution. So I'm going to press F. As you can see, each option here under device selection has got a underline going on. So F. And that's it. Once you press F, you can then press enter on your keyboard. And like I say, this takes a hell of a long time to, to load up. So, uh, like I said, by all means, go to custom CPU and uh, type in your own digits. You know, maybe you could go to a thousand percent, but I thought I'm not going to take my chances and just go to 500 percent. So this is obviously the loaded screen for Metal Dust uh, with the awesome ProVision logo on it. 
what is this loading? If you're not aware of Protovision, they're actually a German based uh, Commodore 64 publisher, a lot like Sidetronic that we got run by Ken's in the UK. Uh, Protovision has recently released some really big titles such as uh, Pig Quest and they also released Sam's Journey a few years back. Uh, so really worth looking at and if you go to Protovision Games, they also released The Cursed Tomb which I actually played the other night. But I'd imagine under here, under their library of games, you'll probably find Metal Dust and here it is Metal Dust. Not sure if they still sell physical copies of Metal Dust. And if we just scroll down a little bit, it actually tells you just here which requirements we need for, say, Vice Emulator. Uh, even Protovision are aware that the actual physical Super CPUs are like gold dust. So the game's loaded up, and just remember to press on warp so we're still not speeded up, and also go to maximum speed and put that down to 100%. And obviously I need to configure my controller now, so I'm just going to go to joysticks, configure joysticks, and uh, joystick port 2 for this game, like most C64 games, and go to close, unpause it. The good thing is with this game, I've briefly played it, is that you can speed this up through warp and you don't have to worry about the game automatically starting, it actually pauses so you can get ready to press fire button or whatever, how you're controlling the game. So as you can see, a very smooth, impressive game, which has given us lots of sprites simultaneously. So as a Commodore 64 fan, I'm aware that Commodore 64 had limitations by how many sprites it can display on screen. So this is where Super CPU emulation really kicks in. You also got a really funky techno, almost European dance track in the background. Uh, one issue I'd have with the game is that it's very hard to determine if parts of the background is part of the foreground. And on the first few times of playing this game, Metal Dust, I kept crashing. I was thinking, what's going on? But it's actually part of the uh, foreground. It's not displayed too well, but there's parts of rock, bits of asteroid, meteorite, whatever. There's a lot going on at screen at the same time, and it's a really challenging game, but it's a really good fast-paced shoot 'em up Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.